Even if you're doing all the right things financially, sometimes we can feel like we're behind. In today's video, we'll be exploring some of the signs which may in fact show you're doing better than you think. Feeling behind financially are thoughts that I can get sometimes and it made me question where I'm at in life and if I'm doing enough because it's very easy to look around and compare ourselves to others and I realise it can't just be me that are having these thoughts. So I decided to do some research and found some information that shows what doing well financially actually looks like. So first let's take a look at earnings and salaries. Globally the median income is estimated to be $7,000 per year. This report shows that 3 billion people in the world live on less than $2 per day. Now western countries like UK and America are much better places to live compared to the rest of the world due to the jobs and from an earnings perspective. So it's not something we can compare because we have to look at the cost of living and other factors. So if we focus closer to home, starting with what the median salary in the UK, which according to the Office of National Statistics, the average income stands for full-time employees was £34,963. And according to the data from the US Bureau of Labour Statistics, the median full-time wage or salary for workers in the United States is $53,490 per year. That sounds like a good amount of money, but how much of that is actually saved? On screen now are the average savings for each age group. Does that surprise you or do you think it would be higher or lower? According to this paper by money.co.uk, up to a third of adults have either no savings or less than £1,000 in a savings account and almost two thirds of people believe they wouldn't be able to last three months without borrowing money. If you were to lose your job, some of these people won't have enough money to survive. If we were to look at global savings rates, those aren't that impressive either. In the UK, this is approximately 5% on a monthly basis and even lower in other countries like America. Almost half of Americans earning more than $100,000 per year need to live paycheck to paycheck, which for me when I saw that was surprising. So if you see someone with a nice luxury item, don't think how can they afford it and I can't. It could just be that they are part of that 34% of people who spent everything that they make and have no savings. Some people are in the position where they simply can't save as they don't have the money, but some can. So if you're watching this and save 5% of your monthly income, then you are doing better than most. And it's more about what you do with the money that you've earned. But that might not make you feel better. So listen to this. In a report, a study was done which showed that people with salaries in the UK of £80,000 to £100,000 felt that their income was about average. When we know the national average is lower, the studies show the reason people feel this way is because they're surrounded by individuals who earn the same or maybe earning more. The need for comparison robs you of happiness and feeling content financially because inevitably you're comparing yourself. Psychologists have actually found is that we often compare ourselves to others when we try to figure out where we stand within the whole money hierarchy thing. Comparison with the closest people in our circles is how how we form our identity and this is called social comparison theory and for the most part this isn't very healthy so when you start comparing yourself to others you're kind of subjecting yourself to psychological torment you may experience feelings of guilt or remorse for not even feeling good enough it's funny because even if you make more than the average salary in the uk or you may even make double the salary in the uk if all your other friends are making tons of money you might not feel financially well off and you have to know that this feeling will always exist it just shows how much it's ingrained in our human nature to compare ourselves to others and upon reflection you really realize that people even at the elite levels of success are doing some sort of comparison with each other and that's just never going to go away. You have to fight that human nature to not compare yourself to others. So if you're able to base your own financial success on your own standards and beliefs then it's a huge sign that you're doing well financially. Here are some signs you are doing better financially than you really think. Earning more doesn't mean you spend more. You live like you have no money even though you actually do have money. This is something that I've always tried to do. Just because I make a little bit more money doesn't mean I should be spending more money. I try to make sure that all my spending stays the exact same. So if you're doing that and you don't just spend an extra hundred pounds just because you have an extra hundred or an extra five hundred or, or however much that might be but you maintain the same lifestyle that's a sign that you're practicing delayed gratification and you're not tying your happiness to stuff you track your finances you know what you have earn and owe it's very easy to ignore underestimate or overestimate how much money comes in and how much money is being spent sometimes this can be because it's difficult to confront some of the harder truth now you don't need to know exactly where every penny goes but you do need to have a decent understanding of where your money is going for example this could be keeping a simple spreadsheet or checking your bank balance once a week. Something like finances will have a compounding negative effect if you ignore it or leave it too long. So even if you are doing this once or twice a week, you're doing much better than you think. You pay your bills on time. The reality is many people struggle to pay their bills on time. So if you can pay for your essentials like rent, food, electricity and other stuff without taking additional debt, you're doing pretty well. So if you're consistently paying all your bills at the end of the month on time and not incurring any bad debt through that, then you're in a good spot financially. And if you can continue to either raise your income or 
below those expenses, then you'll be able to start saving money and progressing in your financial journey. You don't impulse buy or upgrade. Now there's always some sort of upgrades that you can be doing. There's constantly a new phone or a new car or clothing trend. There's always something that you could buy that is new and improved and different. And if you've stopped yourself from impulse buying and just spending without thinking, then you are on the right track financially. We all have our vices, but being aware and knowing how to handle them is a big win. Something which can be helpful is following a 48 hour rule. So whenever you see something non-essential that you want, wait a 48 hour period before you buy it. Oftentimes the waiting itself turns off your spending trigger. Talking about money or listening to financial content online, you actually talk about money. Most of us spend the best part of our days for the best years of our lives working for money and then we never talk about it. And sometimes you can be ashamed of it. It's something that you don't really talk about with people. But if you're open and honest and get people around you who you can actually talk about your finances with, you can ask them questions, learn from their mistakes, they can learn from yours, then you're going to be in a good spot financially and you're going to be on the right path. So if you're talking about money, you're getting there. You don't live paycheck to paycheck. For a lot of households, finances are things that happen to them. Money comes in and money goes out with, with nothing left at the end of the month. The problem is it only takes one bad day for everything to unravel if you don't have an emergency fund to fall back on. If you don't have that money saved for a rainy day, it may mean you need to take out a loan in an emergency and paying back that loan with interest will end up costing you a lot more in the long run. Way more than you would have paid if you had just had the emergency fund. Having this cash as a safety net gives you peace of mind and stability. Learning from your financial mistakes, you're heading in the right direction. You view your financial mistakes as learning opportunities. You may not be where you want to be financially in life. It may be that you've taken on too much debt or you didn't ask for a raise early enough. Regardless, as long as you learn from your mistakes, then you are heading in the right direction. Now, no one is perfect and we all make mistakes, but the worst thing you can do is think that your financial mistakes equate to failure. Instead, think of them as a cost for learning something new, having a long-term financial plan. It's so much easier to make progress when you have a plan in place. This can be written anywhere, in a diary or in a spreadsheet. But regardless, any plan is better than having no plan because at that point you start switching from short-term to long-term thinking and you set yourself goals. And this can be quite motivating as you know what you're aiming for. Those are some signs you are doing better than you think. And if you want to learn more, you might want to check out my other video over here.